What's good, YouTube? Back with another video. So in this video, this is going to be part three to the little Venom host video series. So if you like what I say, be sure to leave a like on this video. If you want to see some more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything that I'm going to come out with in the future. And also leave a comment down below. I want to see if y'all learn anything or if you have any other facts on the post that I just mentioned in the video. And also, if you want to support me more, be sure to follow me on my social media, such as my Instagram and also my game draw and itch.io since I'm also on a game developer on the side. And I'm going to leave all those in the description box below of the video. And all right, let's get the video started. Okay, so the first host we have on our list is Anne Weying. And she was Eddie Brock's ex-wife. And during her career as a lawyer, it ended up making her a target of a sin eater. And if you want me to explain what a sin eater is, it since to be honest, I don't even know. So I'm going to have to research this shit myself. Uh, let me know down in the comments down, down below. And back on topic, she damn near ended up close to death by it. Venom had to intervene, and the amount of damage she took was so bad, Eddie had to convince the Venom symbiote to bond with her so she could heal. This turned her into She-Venom, and when Eddie was attacked without the symbiote, Anne saved them by brutally tearing apart the guys that beat Eddie near, near death. Afterwards, she didn't like what she did and blamed Eddie for it. However, she did wear the Venom symbiote once again, but she was driven to madness as a result of it. And later on, she, she cut her own story short. Well, her life short. I can't really, I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube since, you know, YouTube's so, so sensitive. But yeah, she cut her own life short from these experiences with the symbiote. And that's basically the end of, of Anne Wang's story. And if y'all read the comic recently, it turns out that they had a son named, um, damn, I already forgot his name, um, Dylan. Uh, I think that's his name. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but I think the son's name is Dylan, Dylan Brock. But anyways, to the next host, which is Ben Riley, And it's funny, since during the symbiote invasion, Eddie Brock, Spider-Man, and Ben was helping out to stop it. Unknowingly, Venom symbiote was imitating as Ben Riley's sweatshirt part of his costume. You know, you know how um, his sweatshirt part of his Scarlet Spider costume, that's what I mean, if y'all didn't know. It helped him out during the invasion by giving him information, even though it didn't fully bond with Ben, right before Eddie and the symbiote bonded once again. And there's nothing really to go on about with Ben Riley since he had the Venom symbiote for like uh, like a little amount of time. So we're just going to move on to the next host, which is Wolverine. And this is another like temporary and short ass time that uh, Wolverine had a symbiote. And basically the, the Venom symbiote clone that, you know, remember Patricia Robertson? Well, that Venom uh, symbiote clone had attached itself to Wolverine while he was on the road in Canada. And it didn't last long since it detached itself from Wolverine shortly after. And now we move on to Captain Marvel, which is Carol Danvers. So during the time Matt Gargan was Venom, the symbiote was temporarily detached from Matt Gargan and went on to Carol, but not for too long since Spider-Man was there. Fun fact though, Carol had feelings for Spider-Man, well she still had feelings for Spider-Man since they once dated at a time. And according to Venom symbiote, since it not only bonded with her physically, but it also read her thoughts and emotions. So, it is basically believable on what the symbiote could, could have said. So, since the Venom symbiote admitted that, hey, at least on the bright side, if Spider-Man wants to shoot his shot again, hey, he, he could if he if he wanted to. So, I guess that's a little benefit to it. But anyways, I'm, I'm about to get off topic. Let, let's move on to the fifth and final host. And that is Red Hulk. Uh, during a fight against a villain called Blackheart... Red Hulk was in a team including Agent Venom, X-23, and Ghost Rider, a female Ghost Rider, which um, apparently no one really cared about, and I, I looked her up and I didn't really care about like her origin either, but yeah, that's, um, that's, yeah, that's another story. Okay, so in this comic run, Red Hulk bonded with the Venom symbiote and the Spirit of Vengeance, Ghost Rider's powers. This was short-lived since something like this was his last resort and helped with defeating Blackheart. And of course, um, with even with this fusion, it didn't defeat Blackheart alone. Like, of course, um, Red Hulk needed help, but it was it was that shit. Thinking about that, that's a scary combination. And if you looked up online on like on um, what it visually looked like, uh, what Red Hulk looked like with the in this fusion, it I ain't gonna lie, it's badass. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. We're going to be contained with this series since, shit, this will, as I keep researching more on the Venom symbiote and, like, who it bonded with, 
there's a lot more. So I'm gonna be covering canon and non-canon like areas with the uh, with the uh, who the be- the Venom symbiote bonded with. But yeah, so if you learned something new and you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see some more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything in the future that I'm gonna be coming out with. And also leave a comment down below. I want to see on what you guys' thoughts are on this. And if you got any facts that you want me to know or like whoever else wants to know about this, just leave it down in the comments down below. And also if you want to support me more, like I said before, be sure to follow me on Instagram and on GameJoe and itch.io. And those will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.